Digestion of various nutrients. Let us see what happens to the food we eat once it is chewed and swallowed. The nutrients in the food we eat are largely carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, etc. These nutrients can be broken down into their smaller units through hydrolysis, which normally involves enzymatic action. The presence of food in the mouth triggers the secretion of saliva. Saliva contains the enzyme salivary amylase. This enzyme begins the hydrolysis of starch and breaks it down into smaller units, maltose. The thoroughly chewed food is rolled by the tongue to enter the esophagus. Esophagus is a muscular tube lined by mucus secreting glands that lubricates the movement of the bolus. Peristalsis movement squeezes the bolus down the esophagus until it enters the stomach. Gastric glands present in the epithelial lining of the stomach secrete gastric juices which consist of mucus, hydrochloric acid and the enzymes pepsin and renin. Pepsin starts the hydrolysis of large protein molecules into smaller chains of polypeptides. Pepsin helps to loosen the structure by breaking specific peptide bonds. Renin coagulates milk by converting the soluble milk protein caseinogen into the insoluble casein. During this period, food is thoroughly churned and mixed with gastric juices by the peristaltic contractions of the stomach wall. Eventually, the stomach contents become a semi-fluid called chyme. Relaxation of the pyloric sphincter allows the chyme to gradually enter the duodenum. The duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, receives chyme from the stomach and secretions from the gallbladder and pancreas. Bile is an alkaline greenish-yellow liquid produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. It enters the duodenum via the bile duct. It does not contain digestive enzymes but helps neutralize the acidic chyme and optimizes the pH for enzyme action in the duodenum. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice into the duodenum via the pancreatic duct. This contains the enzymes pancreatic amylase, trypsin and lipase. Pancreatic amylase completes the digestion of starch to maltose. Trypsin digests polypeptides into shorter chains of peptides. Lipase contributes to hydrolysis of lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. Glands in the walls of the ileum secrete intestinal juice which contains digestive enzymes needed to complete the digestion of peptides and disaccharides. Like the enzymes in the pancreatic juice, the intestinal enzymes also require an alkaline medium to act optimally. Peptides which result from the initial steps of protein digestion are digested by erepsin to amino acids. Maltose, which results from the first step of starch digestion, is digested by maltase to glucose. The digestion of other disaccharides 
each of which is catalyzed by its own enzyme also takes place in this region. At the end of the digestive process, all carbohydrates are digested into the monosaccharides of glucose, fructose and galactose. Proteins are digested into amino acids and lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. These are small enough to be absorbed by the villi present in the lining of the small intestine. Dietary fiber, which consists mainly of cellulose, cannot be digested in the human body, as the enzyme cellulase is not produced in the alimentary canal. <laughs>